All right, we're here and we want to work on a real project with you to show you the ins and outs of SolidWorks X Design for Makers. Now, Jason, I wanted to leave it up to you. What do you think we ought to work on? I do have some ideas. I think I think we should make a trophy. Everyone loves trophies. You know, uh, there's like some really popular trophies like the the Lombardi trophy, the Oscars. Uh, you got the Dundee, you know. Uh, so why not make our own trophy? Okay, you're right. Like those have a, a unique like look and a certain visual aspect to them, right? So we can do something pretty cool, I think. What kind of trophy? What's it going to be for? What do you think? Well, first of all, it's going to be for fun, okay? Because that's what that's what I'm all about. And yep. I think it should be about dogs. Everyone loves a dog. You know, dogs are cool. So let's build a a top dog trophy, okay? So that's what that's what I got cooking up. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we're gonna do a trophy, top dog. That's the theme. That's the idea. Okay. Right. Um, where do we start with a project like this? Like, where do we go from? Like, do you just jump in and start drawing or what? Sure. Whenever I start a project, I really like to start with like an artboard where I lay out like all my inspiration. It could be shapes, it could be colors or different designs, things that really inspire me or want to motivate motivate me to do the whole project. So that's exactly what I did using 3D whiteboard. And I want to I want to show you really quick, like it, it's in a linear form. So it, it shows like uh, how I was thinking the entire way. OK. Yeah. So this is that whiteboard that we created. We, we made a conversation in the platform so you and I could talk and you know ask questions and jot down notes and stuff. Right. And then you created a whiteboard to put that inspiration. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing I like to do once I'm inside 3D Whiteboard is press F11. This makes it a full screen. Uh, right here, you can see some images that I found, and I just grab those, I copy and paste them, or I drag and drop them right onto the canvas here. I can organize these images however I want, and if I see one that I really like, I can go ahead and add a note to it. And for this case, I was like, you know what, this dog rocks. Okay, so we're kind of honing in on a on a choice. I can sort of vote and agree by adding maybe an emoji or something. I put like a little heart emoji here on it and say, let's roll with that. So I found some other things that inspired me. I thought gold spray paint might might come in handy. Saw some, you know, different trophies that I liked. I, I realized I, I really needed a heavy base on this. And then I just got to work and started sketching. I like to keep things old school. So I busted out my sketchbook and a pencil sketch up some stuff, you know, just some wild ideas. And I, I try to do as many thumbnail style ones as I can. And once I'm ready, you know, I, I drop those into 3D whiteboard. I can look at them all at one place. You know, Todd, I don't have to like flip sketchbook pages or anything. It's all right uh, in yeah. front of me. And you're just dropping those in like a copy paste too, or dra drag and drop too, right? Just like that. Yeah. Drag and drop them right onto the whiteboard. And, you know, I'll pull little features from, from one sketch and another, and I, and I build like a main sketch, like, like I did here in the middle. What, what I liked about this was the top half. The bottom half, not so much. Um, I, I'm kind of over the cross dog bones thing. I want to do something a bit different, but I really like the top half. So I'll just go ahead and circle that. And you know what? We're kind of, we're narrowing down our process of what we're going to make. You can see I started with a dog bowl there at the bottom, and it eventually made it to the top. And so I had a really good idea for the dog tag to go ahead and make that a SolidWorks logo. And I use these sticky arrows, I call them, uh, the, the diagram arrows. So we're going to do that with the SolidWorks logo probably. All right, so I saw you drop these sunglasses on here. The dog is definitely looking cool at this point. Yeah, I thought the sunglasses would give him a little bit of character, you know? For sure. Now we're moving into like how we're going to put it together, how we're going to build it and make it right. Design the thing. Yeah. So I, I have some quick notes here that I jotted in, like, you know, 3D printed dog and bowl. And, you know, this plate down here, it's going to be aluminum 6061 T6 and, and have some weight to it. OK. And then we can divide it up. Let's mark this thing up and say how we're going to design it. This portion will be X shaped. Uh, you're doing that, obviously. <laughs> Excited to see you do that. And then I'll I'll show us how to, we can draw this up in X Design. Yeah, another cool thing I thought, like maybe add some hardware covers. You know, maybe some mm -hmm. spikes or something on top of those bolts. Okay. 
oh, I found this 3D printed filament that's gold uh, color already. So that would be so much better than going back and spray painting everything. So I, I added that here. Yeah. So we're kind of evolving our plan as we go to on the whiteboard. And what are these guys? Yeah. So this is where I, I copy like all the things that I'm going to need, like material wise. Like I know I'm going to need the hexagon, aluminum and some hardware. So as I'm working and working this out, I'm saving all these uh, hyperlinks so that when it's time, I can go ahead and, and purchase the materials. OK, awesome, because now we're both able to see that if you're just putting that in a notebook somewhere, I don't get to see it and I can't add to it uh, the same way. Perfect. Right. It's a lot better than what I used to do, Todd. I used to like email myself, write down what vendor I'm going to buy from and like a notebook and then have to go through and find it. This is my single source. All right. And I, what I love most about 3D Whiteboard is it's all right here. I can zoom out and see the entire, you know, flow of this, uh, this project and where my head was at and where it's, where it's headed, you know? Um, I think we're probably ready to get started. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's get it going. All right. We'll, we'll see you on X Design in a sec.